All right, guys, we're back now, and we're going to get the prop guards ready. But the first thing I want to do is let's start cleaning up a little bit. Got quite a few things on this bench here. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, set everything aside. Don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need this. Throw this out. There we go. We'll need this. And we could probably just go ahead and put that on now. So I'm going to just move this aside. And very carefully just pop that in there just like that. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, let me see where we're at here. We want to, there we go. Okay, so um, a couple things. First thing is we're gonna go ahead and put the um, second set of standoffs in. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's take the eight millimeter screw, put it through that back hole right there and just start uh, kind of tighten down the back uh, standoffs. Okay, let me do the next one. Excellent. Okay. Once that's done, what we can do is let's go ahead and make sure our camera stands are straight. All right, just like that. And now we're going to go ahead, and I think we should have no problem. We're going to go ahead and put this on. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our top plate on, and let's start by putting in the front screw, one of them. Okay, and then we'll put in the opposite rear screw right here. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll do the other screw here. We'll do the back screw on this side. And then we'll do the front screw here. And your frame, as far as the main portion, is done. Now, we have a couple things to do here first. One of the things we talked about was I said, well, you could zip tie your receiver here. Well, you can. You could literally just run a zip. I have one right here, actually. You could run a zip tie right around, just like that. And the cool part is, let me show you. Now that this is on, okay. Put the, put the put the unit just like this and you can position it like this is for the XM I mean for the M plus for example you can literally position this to where the bind button is right in that X okay now I just moved it but that's not really it really doesn't matter because not every not every receiver is going to fit like that but you can easily just zip tie this to the top and if you were worried about well now I'm going to put my battery up there is that going to get in the way of my battery no the answer is no and I'll show you how I'm just trying to push this down just a little bit so I can get this to kind of give me a little bit of a break here. So I can get to the pine button. There we go. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it to the side like this, tighten it, okay, and just kind of roll it down right there. All right, perfect. Now I can keep moving this down to where that buckle is out of the way. But look, if you look right there, I can hit that bind button right now, okay, just like that. And I can bind this, okay? Now, this is zip tied up there, and I probably, yeah, it's good and all, but I'm not gonna, I mean, that's how you can do it. I'm not gonna zip tie mine because I don't see any need to zip tie this one. Um, it's gonna stay in here very well, especially once we put this down. But what I was gonna tell you was if you run a zip tie across the top of your plate and you're like, well, my battery's gonna lay right there. Well, yeah, but if you use the silicone padding, right? What you do is you put the silicone padding on each side. The silicone padding is taller than the uh, high, uh, than the thickness of the uh, zip tie and so all you're going to have is you put a, zi a zip tie or the silicone padding on this side and then a little bit on this side and right in between where you've cut it and space it out is where that zip tie runs and it doesn't get in the way of your battery so don't worry about that all right but I'm not going to zip tie mine I don't see any need to do it so here's all I need to do is I need to get my antenna set up okay now I've got two, I left two openings here and I'm going to see if I can do this without kinking it too much hopefully that'll fit actually you know what let me see let me see where I prefer to put this first because I've got this receiver wire and I don't want to take up too much space here. So let me see if I can get this to fit through here. There we go. So I'm going to fit that. I can fit that right up here if I want to, just like this. 
Okay, now there's my VTX, my VTX line right here, all right? Now, uh, as far as my uh, receiver wire goes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, here it is, my zip ties. Ooh, that's a long one. Right, and I'm just gonna kinda, let me see, how do I wanna do this? If I put this like this, no, I wanna go like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the bottom up through that slot right there on the side, and I'll show you this in a second once I get my finger out of the way. Okay, so do it just like that. Okay, run it through that side slot. So you've got this middle space here is where your um, antenna for your VTX is going. And then you're gonna take that slot on the side and you're gonna run that up through your zip tie, okay? And then what you can do is you can feed the antenna wire, your RX antenna wire through right here, through that circle where the, um, where the uh, VTX antenna is. You can feed that right through that circle, stick it to here, and then let me get, let me get a heat shrink. And we're gonna heat shrink that wire and protect it, okay? Just like this. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna put this heat shrink Run that all the way down, okay? And what we can do is, um, we could probably cover a little bit more of this if you want to. I don't usually do that, so I'm gonna leave mine just like this. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up, okay? There we go. A little bend in it just like that. Okay, now, the next part's going to be pretty cool, too. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another zip tie, and I'm going to run this one up on this side. Okay. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to put this here. I want this to also be as secure as possible, right? So let me go see if I have... Tape, which isn't a bad idea actually. That leftover tape, that leftover tape would be a pretty good to use here as well. I'm just gonna see if I have any heat shrink that might fit. So let me just see. Oh, I think this would be good too. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the heat shrink. Okay, and I'm only needing it to go right there. So I'm gonna use the heat shrink. And keep it just like that. Let me do this. Just like that. Okay, let's put this here. All right. And now let's heat that up as well. Okay. And then what I was saying was if you wanted to, you could literally tape this piece. We had that extra tape, right? So let's just cut this piece of tape, a little bit of it, right? Just to kind of give it a an even symmetrical look with the other antenna right so now we've got a zip tie on each side and one side is our VTX and one side is our receiver and I think this looks great actually I mean I don't know if you could I guess you could see it pretty good up there but this does look really well done uh, and it looks very even so all right so I said I was gonna <laughs> this is supposed to be about doing the prop guards but it ends up being about finishing off the receiver and the VTX antenna. So what I'll do now is I'll come back uh, on the next video and we'll do the prop guard. So give me just a minute.